Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, I will be drawing and talking about Policarpa Salavarrieta, also known as La Pola. La Pola was born around 1793 in Colombia. She was a Neo-Granadine woman who became a spy for the revolutionary forces during the time that Spain was trying to reconquest Neo-Granada. Now, for those of you who don't know, a Neo-Granadine is a person that was born in the quote-unquote New World, which was called Neo-Granada, which was a jurisdiction of uh, the Spanish Empire. This area is uh, in South America, uh, Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Ecuador, all those areas. Now, La Pola was actively participating in politics in 1817 when she moved to Bogotá, which is Colombia's capital. Bogotá was the stronghold of the Reconquista, where most of the Spanish royalists resided. Unlike her hometown in Guaduas, she was not really known in Bogotá as a revolutionary. So she was actually able to move freely with other patriots and spies without raising any suspicion. She was also able to infiltrate the homes of the royalists, offering her services as a seamstress to their wives and daughters. She was able to overhear conversations, collect maps, intelligence, and find out who was suspect of being revolutionaries. La Pola was also able to secretly recruit young men to the revolutionary cause. She was captured, unfortunately, by the royalists and executed for high treason. Right before she was executed, she yelled, although I am a woman and young, I have more than enough courage to suffer this death and a thousand more. She's now considered a heroine of the independence of Colombia. The execution of such a young woman, Policarpa Salavarrieta, because of political crime, moved the masses and created a resistance to the regime. Her death inspired poets, writers, and dramas that immortalized her story, bravery, and courage. I hope you enjoyed this video and please do subscribe and follow me on my social medias.